Hey everybody! So as you can tell by the title, we are going to be making a PVC flute together today. So, <clears throat> this is the one that I've already made and kind of trial and errored a little bit, but we're going to make a brand new one together today. So I wanted to go over everything that you need and how to make it. Let's jump in. Very first step into doing all of this is you'll want to grab the manual and I will put the link down below so you guys can grab it as well. But it also goes over everything that you'll need, which I'll kind of touch on as well. Everything that I used, what I recommended to make this a little bit easier um, and just things that I already kind of had around the house. But the third page of this manual is going to actually be your measurements. And we are going to be making this top one. Everything is gonna be in centimeters though, so do keep in mind with that. I mean, it tells you everything, every hole, you know, how far away from the top or from the, from the first hole is it supposed to be, how big is it supposed to be, and what uh, note is it also supposed to be. Well, let's get into it. All right, so I have everything that we need set up right here. I guess I should put these over here. Um, so let's start from pretty much beginning. We're gonna need our three quarter inch minus the 480 PSI. We're gonna need our cutter, cutter here. I have different marking tools. I used a Sharpie and a pencil last time. I have my step bit. I have my ruler, two different kinds of rulers. This is an 18 inch ruler. This one is a 12 inch with centimeters because I need the centimeters to figure out where my holes are gonna be. So, and then I also have my deeper tool. We'll add that to my little list there. The drill and our vise. Um, the vise is kind of optional. I just found that it was a little bit easier. Same with the step bit. I found that this was a lot easier to use um, instead of drilling with like six different kinds of drill bits. All right, so let's get into it. Let's get everything all set up. Okay, and we are back. So we are gonna take our tubing here and we are gonna measure out. So from end to end, it needs to be 41.3 centimeters. I don't know what that is in inches, so I did it. I did the conversion math. It is 16 and a quarter. So we are gonna go end to 16 and a quarter right here. And just mark that. So now that we have that marked, we'll go in with our cutter here. So now we don't need this anymore, we shouldn't. Now I have my 16 and a little over a quarter part of my tube. We'll put the rest of the tube to the side. What I found was easiest was get our vise here and open it up and put our tubing in here and tighten it down just a little bit it doesn't have to be super tight just enough to kind of hold it I kind of do just a little extra for good measure and then try your best to find middle and mark a line down the entire middle of it okay just use my pencil go on my straight edge here mark right down the middle there just to give you kind of a reference on, and this is actually a little bit crooked, but that's okay. <laughs> um, just to give you a reference of where your holes need to be and just to make sure that they're fairly straight. Okay, now we're gonna go in with our other ruler because this one has centimeters on it. And we're gonna start marking out where the holes need to be. Now that we have everything all marked up, we can go ahead, put our drill bit into 
hour drill. This one does go to an eighth, which is what I was using on my other one whenever I did this. I just did a one eighth pilot hole and then just started drilling through. Perfect, it's bringing back. And I'm actually gonna move you guys a little bit cause this is kind of far for me. What you're supposed to do is drill one hole at a time, tune it, and then move on to the next one. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys, I'm not gonna do that. Something that you guys can do to help with where you need to stop on these step bits is you can get a piece of tape, which I'm actually gonna do. I need to stop at 11.30 seconds. So I'm gonna put a piece of tape right here where I need to stop. All right. I'm gonna move it just a little bit up just to make sure that I'm not messing up my tape every time that I make the hole, okay? And we are gonna get started. Ooh, am I bottoming out already? I am. I can't even make it that big because <laughs> I'm bottoming out. All right, that's okay. So we're bottoming out right here because I mean, I don't have that much room. That's okay, it's getting us a good start. So let's continue to do these until we bottom out. Now, I didn't really say this, but your first hole should be three eighths, actually. Your, your embouchure hole is going to be the biggest one. It should be three eighths. All your other ones are gonna be your 11.30 seconds, which I can't even get to on this drill bit. So this tape doesn't really help, but that's okay. I have another stro uh, step bit that we'll use, so. All right, not quite on my line, but you know what, that's okay. So I'm gonna go get that other step bit to enlarge these just a little bit more, um, and then we'll continue. All right, so on this step bit, I don't have 11.30 seconds on here. Um, I can only go up to 5 16 is gonna be the closest. Um, we are gonna go ahead and do the 3 eighths for our embouchure hole. So I'm gonna go backwards to forwards. We're gonna start with our 5 16 and then we'll go in with our uh, burr tool to make it a little bit bigger since I don't have one that works. All right, and then we're gonna open up that embouchure hole a little bit more. We're gonna go to our 3 eighths for that one. So hold on to that one. <laughs> all right, so we've got all of our holes. Um, honestly, I think I'm done in here. Let's blow this out a little bit. Um, and then let's take this back in the house since I don't need any of these power tools anymore or this vice or anything. Um, we'll clean up out here, go back in the house, and we will get in there with our deburr tool to get in those and clean them up. So we'll be right back. All right, so we are inside. I have my two right next to each other. This is the one that I had already made prior. This is the one that we're making today. Um, I did forget that I left this one just a little bit long, um, but that's okay. I can take that off later. Um, again, if you're gonna be tuning this while you're doing it, that's something that definitely needs to be done first. So you'll get your embouchure hole correct and then take off the length at the end, then start working on your other holes. Honestly, I'm not gonna worry too, too much about tuning on this one. This is just mainly for demonstration purposes. So let's start with our embouchure hole. So we want it to be, um, it's supposed to be about a half inch on the oval end. So we need to get this one just a little bit bigger a little bit. So I'm going to go in with my deburr tool. All right. So now I'm going to blow this out. Yep. All right. 
just to get all that debris out of there. And don't forget as well, you need your rubber stopper to be in here to help make this make a good sound. I do have my one inch stopper that I can just shove in here, um, but also keep in mind your stopper length is going to make a difference in your tuning as well. I ended up cutting the stopper on this one just a little bit. I think I took yeah, maybe like a half inch off. Um, so that way I had uh, about, uh, I guess about a half inch inside the tube. Uh, because the stopper was getting pretty close to uh, the embouchure hole with the three quarter inch one. This is the one inch one, so it's a little bit thicker. It doesn't go all the way in, um, but it'll work for this. Okay. Personally, I like being able to take it out to do all this as well because you have all of this that ends up collecting inside the tube as well. I like to just be able to blow it out very easily. So now let's start working on our tone holes and making them just slightly bigger. Um, I also do the same thing uh, with kind of getting a little bit of the sharp edge off of the tone holes as well. Uh, just because again, your finger's gonna be there. You don't want to be irritating your fingers. Then it's gonna make it to where you're not gonna wanna really play it. So take just a little bit to widen up. Hold on, hold on to widen up those tone holes just a little bit from the outside as well. You can also get some sandpaper to help with some of the roughness on these tone holes as well if you're not really wanting to do it with the deeper tool. Um, I did use some sandpaper on this one. I don't know if you guys can tell. <laughs> it is a little bit scraped up, um, but I'm not planning to do that on this one. Certainly can do it on your own. Okay, let's put our rubber stopper in there and test this out. Not bad. And that is how you get this. this as much as I did I thought it was fun um, let me know if you guys make one of your own I'd love to see them and to see your videos link them down below um, yeah so I go hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys next week bye